Now let's take a moment to explore. Take a piece of paper so that you can write what comes up. I'll ask you four questions. The first one is how do you define your ability? What is playing the violin for you? What is playing the piano? How would you define singing? What is singing? Just a few ideas that would come to you. And I would also add in that first question the dimension of music. What is a musician? What is making music for you? If nothing comes up, write the question and give it time. It'll come. Why? What is playing or singing and what is music for you? Just as an introduction. The second question has to do with why. Why do you sing? Or why do you play? Most people say, because I love it. Okay, excellent. What do you love about it? Be specific. Write down what do you love about playing your instrument. Sometimes there's some physical aspect of it. Maybe there's also some emotional aspect of it. And for some people, it's more about the connection. Connection with the music, connection with others, with sharing, whatever comes up. If you need to pause the recording, stop it and take time to figure out what do you love about this. You can also ask yourself, what, what does that bring you? If, for example, I'm a pianist, there's something for me that I love about the physicality, about the bouncing and the hearing. It's like connected for me. So what does that bring me? It fills me with a sense of openness. What? It makes me feel like I'm exp in expansion. Of course, it's all about pleasure, about enjoyment, enthusiasm, about... <gasps> growing in what I am doing. So make sure that you explore what does that bring you. If it's the emotional connection, you like the emotional connection, why is that a plus? What does that bring you, that connection? A sense of what? Sometimes it's about you and sometimes it's about something bigger than you. And the last question is why did you choose this instrument. How did it start? What happened at the beginning? Did someone inspire you? What's your beginning story with this or with singing, with your instrument or with singing? What's your roots with this? What's your unique inner story about your instrument, your relationship? with your instrument. Now that you have a list of important personal elements for you connecting with why you play your instrument, which one can you use to bring more enthusiasm to your next performance? Let's imagine that you're nervous for your next uh, performance. If you look at those elements before you go on stage, suddenly you will activate your parasympathetic nervous system because there's something with the pleasure, with the joy that will counteract your stress response. Some people like to add an element of gratitude because it's also a good trigger for the parasympathetic nervous system. So what can you feel grateful for? Like for example, I feel so lucky to have this opportunity, to have this chance. How would you complete the phrase for yourself? I feel so lucky for. There is a sports psychologist, Jonathan Fader, who uses the phrase, pressure is privilege. That's all in order to bring up some feeling of gratitude. 
So which one will work for you? So I hope this little exploration is, has been fun for you. Let me know if you have any questions, any specific things that you need me to address. And I'm looking forward to the next time. Thank you for watching.